there, lovely folks of YouTube, Ren here, fresh out of the shower with wet hair. I don't blow dry my hair, so it's just, I just let it do its thing. But um, just wanted to say hi, pop in, check up with y'all, um, talk about some of the fun stuff that I got, my little swag that I got for the holidays, because why not? 80% of it was books, like straight up. I'm, I'm addicted to books, in case you hadn't guessed. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have that. Oh, I did get this though. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Hang on. Let me get up here. T-shirt. <laughs> My whole grove is getting them. So we're all going to match when we go to like pride events and stuff. It's going to be freaking awesome. Um, I am not LGBTQ myself, but everyone else in my grove is. I'm the token cishet unicorn, but uh, I am more than happy to wear this in solidarity with my um, close friends and the people I love. So, but anyway, I figured it'd be fun. Just, um, I got a big stack of books here next to me. These are all books that I got. Most of them were either gifts that I bought with money or things that I had gotten just throughout the course of the past month. This stack, um, this is what I read in December. So <laughs> I know it's a lot, but a lot of these books are really small and quick. So I just wanted to talk about it. Um, it's sort of like a really condensed uh, book review video. So let's do it. So first thing, Herbs and Herb Lore of Colonial America. I got this at Colonial Williamsburg when we went there for a day with my family. Um, very short book. Um, I don't know. It was fun. It was a fun, quick read. I think it took me about two hours to get through this book. Um, but it was only like a $6 book, so it wasn't that bad. Um, it has a lot of... This was actually assembled by um, the Colonial Dames of America, which is an organization that does, you know, research and, I don't know, stuff having to do with colonial America, I guess. I don't know all that much about them, but uh, but it was a fun book because it basically kind of summed up a lot of the information from several different herbals that would have been used during colonial times and basically talked about the plants that were most commonly grown in colonial gardens for medicinal uses and also some of the folklore behind them. So kind of neat. Little addendum to some of the other books that I have. Not super in-depth, but still fun nonetheless. Um, this is what I've been working on since Yule, Tassio Mancy. So um, these two books joined the third book that I have back there that I had already read, which is Reading the Leaves. Um, but I got Tea Leaf Reading for Beginners by Carolyn Dow. Um, and then this one, Tea Leaf Reading, which I don't even know who the author is on this one. It doesn't even have an author listed. It just says Running Press. Um, skip this book. I did not realize this book was this tiny. This is a ridiculous book. Um, luckily it was not that expensive, but like, what the hell, like, what are you going to do with this book? There's like almost no information in there because it's so small. So skip that one, get this one. This is the good book. Reading the Leaves, hang on, let me reach behind me. This is also a good book. Two very different perspectives though. This is a very traditionalist perspective. This is a more eclectic perspective, but they're both really valuable and can be combined to kind of figure out what you want to do when you're learning Tassio So, I'll oh, get back there. Okay, it doesn't want to go back. 80% uh, of like both of those books are basically like um, sort of a dictionary of all the different symbols that you can see in Tassio So, it's definitely something that you can't just learn it from reading a book. You need to actually do it and practice it, but this will at least get your foot in the door. Jason Miller's Elements of Spellcrafting. I finished this book in about three days because it is fabulous. I just devoured it. Such a good book. Um, if you are planning, even if you're experienced at spellcrafting, if you haven't read this book, I still recommend it because um, he basically goes into a lot of the different pitfalls that normally happens when you're doing spellcrafting, making your own spells, casting your own spells and talks about how you can work around them and improve your spellcraft design process. So, fabulous book, highly recommend. Illustrated Herbiary. I bought this on a whim. I saw it on a table at uh, Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden, and I said, oh, I'm going to get that book. So, and I did. And this is another one. It's a really quick read, um, mostly illustrations, but really pretty illustrations. 
Um, and it basically covers how many plants? 36. 36 different plants in here. Um, very, uh, it's not super deep um, and it's not going to give you a lot. It's not going to give you any information on like herbal medicine or anything like that. It's really more of like connecting with the essence and the spirit of that plant. So like it gives you like a usually just a very short summary of that what that plant does. So ladies mantle here, fortitude, um, gives you some ideas of rituals that you can do that sort of involve working with this plant um, and then reflections on teachings that these plants give you. Cute book. Um, it's sort of out there in left field. You know, it's not like any of the other herbal books, um, but it's really cute and pretty, very pretty. Um, and it's kind of cool in that like each of these plants, it actually came with, they, they're not here, they're in my dresser drawer, but it came with oracle cards, uh, one for each of the plants. So you, if you wanted to use it as like a divination system, you can use it that way too. So that was kind of neat. This one, you can see I'm still reading it. Laura Tempest Zakroff's Weave the Liminal. This is a good book. I am enjoying this book. Um, again, like a lot of other beginner books, this isn't one that like, this isn't one that I necessarily need to read, but I like to read a lot of the beginner books because they give me insight into what other people are talking about. And that way I can know what to recommend to other people as well. So um, this is a cool book. If you're looking at a non-Wiccan, more tradcraft style of witchcraft, because that's what Tempest does. It, um, I like this book because she gives you, like, there's almost no hows in this book. She doesn't give you any exercises. She doesn't give you any, like, information. There's not basic information like, this is what the Sabbaths are or anything like that. All of that, she just skips right over it and talks about the whys. Why we do what we do. Why you should, you know, making you think about why you want to do what you're going to do. Sorry, one of my kids just knocked something out in the hallway, but... <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's a good book for making you think about what you want your practice to be. So recommend it for that. At least as far as I've read in it, that's how it's been. I'm about two thirds of the way through. So, um, and then this is another book that I am working my way through. You can see my little bookmark in there. Um, I got this from the Witch's Book um, subscription box, and this book has been amazing. I am definitely taking my time with this book. This is not a book that you can just read through and, you know, just be done with. Um, the great work is a lot of like meditations and journaling. And basically this is, this is a beginner's guide to shadow work is what this book is. So if you're not entirely sure what to do when it comes to shadow work, this book will help you. It gives you a journal prompt for every single day of the year themed based on what time of year we're in, where we're at in that yearly cycle. And um, I mean, it's just, it's fabulous, fabulous book. Um, so as you can see, I'm only partway through because it starts at Yule on the 21st of December. And we're now, today is 16th of January. So I've been doing this for about four weeks now. Great book. Um, definitely opened up some, some things that I hadn't really thought about before. So, but yeah. That's what I've been doing in December. A lot of reading. Um, but uh, anyway, I'd be curious to hear about what you got for your holiday swag. Drop a comment. I'd love to see it. And I hope this video finds you well. And I'll see you again soon.